ECAP 26 here, just your tips, fears, and hobbies. And we've got uh, Jean Claude Van Damme here, pretty much uh, painted skin wise, but we have to do over some skin here with some putty. It seems like a lot, but that's what it needs. I'm gonna put it in there like that. work it up into the creases you get these uh, chatter marks from printing because you have to print it a certain way and uh, it's no big deal but it doesn't look too good so we spread it out we spread putty over it okay and fill those creases in so that's what we're doing right now I don't know if uh, Bola has that. You have to check. This will fill it in nicely. Just spread it with the glove. And it'll get it nice and smooth. Then you need to go over it with some sandpaper. Look closer. See if you need... To put a little bit more on in certain spots I'm using this one opposed to the uh, the combi the combi stinks it, you know it really it really smells bad you know so this one doesn't smell as bad Gotta do this leg right here. It's not too bad, you know. Try to use the new part of the glove when you when you do this. It's all in positioning of the model when you go to go to print it um, it'll get this from the support it's no biggie you let that dry and you're gonna look at it you might have to go over a couple times with the putty you're gonna sand it down smoothly so it's about good the other side is fine you know the picture side of it the front side of it's fine so we're gonna cap this off and turn it up like that I made these keys for the putty so let's put him over to the side here for just for a minute. Let's look at the other one. He turned out okay. Okay. No, I don't have to do any putting on this guy, Bola. Hey, Bola. That was scary, let me tell you, in that movie. Scary guy. So we're going to get out some black paint here. And, uh... We're just going to do his trunks with some black paint and uh, get a brush here, get a dirty tray, we use, we use trays over and over again and then we'll, we chip them out with a screwdriver to get the old paint out. So. Just take them like this. And I see on his pants, he has, right here is where his satchel to his karate belt is. So that is a different color. So we'll omit that, but we'll start putting paint on here.
and then we when we go to finish finish it we'll airbrush the other parts again I'm going to have to tape this off that I'll refer to a picture for the colors because I want to be as close to the colors as possible to the movie you know A good size to work with. This is like one six model scale. It's a good. It's a good uh, size to work with to paint. You'll you'll find when you do larger models, you'll be able to do smaller ones. You know, a little a little bit better. Just go from one to the next scale down, and you'll learn how to do it. No big deal, just putting paint on. That's all it is. Uh, you learn different techniques. Oh. I'm out of focus here. I'm not on camera. Sorry, guys. About that. Another print is ready. That's good. I think I'm going to take a break after all this. After I get this paint on here, I'm going to run another print and uh, take a break. I've been at it since 4 a.m. So... Okay, so we're going to let him dry over here the best way, I think, like this. Okay. And uh, we'll continue this video, video in a little while. So we are uh, got the uh, figure here, and we're going to do some sanding right here. And when you sand, blow off the dust. 
afterwards, okay? smooth Sometimes you have to go in there with a, a Dremel and a barrel. That'll help too. So this dried overnight, which gave it a good seal. If this dust doesn't come off, just ain't over it. It'll be all right. Put your fingers over it like this. Feel for ridges. We have to do this part. You might have to go over it again with uh, putty. Sorry, I'm not showing you my work. Yeah, see like right in here, needs more. I can tell it needs more putty. I have to go in there with some putty. Pretty good. You know? Got a mark right there. time. No rush. Make sure when you put your paint out, when you do mixing colors, you want to um, keep the two paints that you used together so you know what you mixed. And, and a good thing to do is to write, them, write down what you mixed. Like the white I mixed. <clears throat> Mostly white and then a drop of uh, the other color, which was for this a mild brown or mud brown. So well, maybe I can get in there. Get this right in here. Let me work at it. I don't know if I have my my Dremel tool set up for sanding, which I should. I would 
don't want to have to have this dry, just dry again. Let me see if it's set up. No, it's not set up. So let's get out a sander. Put that to the side. <clears throat> the Dremel tool. I know this is supposed to come off by hand, but it doesn't. I'll just give it a twist, pull that off, sand her on. Might want to wear a mask when you do this. Okay. And glasses. Check your eyes. I got glasses on. Hold it away from you. Put it on slow. Go in there. Like that. working pretty good right there. You don't have to putty it now. You don't have to go put it on really super fast. Just enough to scrape the putty up and get it the way you want it. Break up, break the line in between the model and the and the putty. There we go. Come right there. Sorry guys, I have a tendency of pulling my work in, I'm sorry about that. Let's turn that off for a minute. It looks pretty good. Right up here. Good. Right there we have to do. Looks good. Okay. See how I filled up the drum of the sander? I'm gonna put that to the side, switch that out. So 
Some of this you could just scratch with your finger and it'll come off. You know, a bump. This does take time, you know. It's about best we can get that. So let's put that to the side. Okay. Now we have to mix up some paint here. And we need a bigger brush. this there's the white you shake this up a little bit and a dot of the brown Take your mixing brush and mix it in. Put a little bit more weight. You get a feel of the paint after a while. may need two coats, you know, make sure you get the bubbles out of it. It's good. Matches pretty well. Probably gonna need two coats. <clears throat> I'm gonna lighten up this paint for the other figure because the other figure, his skin tone was a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter, just slightly. <clears throat> Look for those air bubbles and just go over them with the brush. You know, you don't want those, those little pockets of air. Just pop them. Turn them over. Look 
looks good. Mist right here. Put it up there like that. Take the white and put in more white into the mix. Take your stir. That brown is really prevalent, so I don't want it as brown. I want it as I want it lighter. You can even take. <clears throat> some of this lighten it up I mean that's going to be plenty of paint once I get it on the model was a lighter color in the movie than Van Damme. This is Bolo Young. Oh, after that little interruption, we're back to our video painting. Um, sorry about that, guys, but sometimes that happens. Gotta answer questions to the wife when I'm in the middle of a video. <clears throat> I'm sure it's happened to you if you do videos. We're doing a Catwoman on the printer over there, the base. So that'll be coming up next. got like white socks on here so uh, mix all the paint up in here oh uh, yeah this guy was really scary in the movie getting back to that I was talking about that um he was, like, really feared in his movies. Um, big guy, muscular guy for a uh, Japanese fighter, it seems. Well, like, Japanese karate sumo wrestler, you know? Um, very muscular. <clears throat> and uh, that's why he was chosen for his parts, you know, in the movie, because he was so ominous, you know? So I'm going to paint this up and we'll get back to you and show you some more later. Okay, we're going to uh, put some registration marks or location marks for this model. And we just did something we didn't want to do. And just peel that off and then retain it. No biggie. Put some sandpaper to it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this flat square brush and we get some black paint, a glob of it, and we're going to put it on the bottom. I'm going to try to glob it on. Okay. And then we're going to place the model the way we want it. So like that. Okay, to make the registration marks and go like this, wiggle it a little bit, and it's got two marks where you want to cut out for these points right here. Okay, so you got to let that dry. So we have our registration marks on the base, and now let's uh, let's 
to get back to this back part here. I'm going to have to paint it anyway. So he's got some scar marks on him. And we got the paint over here we put in a plastic bag to preserve it. And here it is right here for our bola. And we got a nice clean brush. And we're going to go over and just paint over different spots. If you get bubbles, get the bubbles out. You don't want the bubbles drying and making circles. So he looks pretty good. You know. Save your paint. You know, in case you need it later, in case you, you make a mistake. Good idea. I'm just going going over certain spots here that I feel need to be done. Hope you guys are having a good day. I may have said that in other clips here, but don't remember what I said. We're going to make some, uh, we're going to make some scarring and black and blue marks in different spots here, I think, on this. You know, like he's really fighting, you know. So that's coming paint-wise. That has to dry. And put them on the plastic there. Um, Got to clean the brush. <clears throat> Got some marks here. Works. Okay. We'll put them like that. This paint really has to soak in and dry, so I'm not going to go much further, I think, today with this. You know, I want it to. firm up and take a set. And just take this right here and just go over it. The black. And put the brushes in here and clean them up. So for now, we're going to take another break. Probably for a quite while, quite a while here. But you, they, you won't see that. You'll see the next clip. So getting back to this, just square like this and like that. Pretty much, let's see, let's put the figure on it. And that's just about right. And the other one's a little bit smaller. So it goes like that, like that. And uh, let's see, that's good. Let's see, I wanna see if I can cut into this Can, but it's it's kind of tough cutting it with this kind of a knife. Let me see. Let's try this one. Uh, 
I don't want to chance hurt myself with the, the blade snapping. Let me look at my tools down here. Uh, let's see. I think I've got something to do the trick. Switch it over in the Dremel tool. Hang in there, guys. You see what I'm doing here? That over there. I gotta get the pliers. Make sure this is this bit is in here good. See I'm done. Okay. Let's turn this on. I don't know if I went down deep enough, but it's still got to be, it's still got to be bigger, so I got to widen it. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm cutting in with the with this tool here, this grinding tool. I'm going to make it deeper and wider to notch it in to put the figure on there. Okay, guys, so I got it, and it's... Uh, pretty well down there. I'm going to just do a little bit more to get his foot flush. Okay, so I got his foot pretty well flush on, on the uh, tarmac here. And uh, the other part, I'll put it like that. Um, the other part, I'm going to glue down with glue. And uh, Gonna work on this model a little bit. And uh, it'll be like that. And then the other part is connected into there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this, glue that, and then I'm gonna put it to the side, lay it, lay it over like this, and let it dry and put supports. Okay. We're doing more painting here. We see fine spots that need to be done. fingers you really got to look 3d for these you know all the way around really got to look and there's another print that's uh coming off the printer uh one the new wonder woman 
You'll be seeing that in a future video. So we got that. <clears throat> We got a piece of uh, plastic here we're gonna put them on. Okay. And let them dry. We're gonna put some really beat up marks on them though. So I'm gonna put them down like that. Mm -hmm. 